This section provides the SQL for how to clean data. This brief presentation was organized by Dr. Lemming. These slides provide a number of SQL codes for removing data that does not make sense. These code snippets are not necessarily connected to each other. You should use these code snippets to understand the ideas for how data can be cleaned and then use what works for your data. We'll begin with the code for removing duplicated data. In this code snippet, we remove duplication for the same person, same diagnosis, reported on exactly the same date. This is done by the group by command. If there are multiple entries for diagnosis of a patient at a certain age, then only one will be kept. Often, the data contains erroneously entered date of death, showing that the date of death is prior to the visits. Occasionally, this can make sense, as some healthcare services are offered shortly after the patient death, for example, autopsies. However, repeated outpatient or inpatient visits after a date of death suggests a problem with the date of death. In this snippet, we show you how to remove patients whose date of death precedes one or more visits. The same error can occur for date of birth. If the patient is reported to have visited prior to being born, then perhaps the date of birth was entered incorrectly. This snippet removes errors in entry of date of death or date of birth by keeping only patients with reasonable dates of birth or death. Date of death is checked by making sure the patient's reported minimum age at death is larger or the same as the maximum age of diagnosis. In addition, we allow all patients who have a null value for age at death, meaning they have not yet died, to be included in the cleaned data file. The date of birth is checked by requiring that the minimum age at diagnosis be larger than zero. You may need to set this minimum higher if you want to only include adults in your cleaned data. Note that the entire code leads to the selection of ID of patients. These are patients whose data are okay. To get the data for these patients, that is, variables other than their ID, then the temporary file must be merged with the original data file. Also, note that if we had used a WHERE command instead of a HAVING command, then we would have deleted the visits that had unreasonable dates, but not eliminated the entire record of the patient. Since the problems with the date of death and date of birth affect age at time of visit, the entire record should be eliminated. Next, we will discuss unusual dates of visit or out of range data. This snippet of code removes visits with unusual dates. This could be a missing or out of range date. Out of range analysis should be done on all variables and not just dates. Here, we check if the age at diagnosis is between 18 and 105. The function between is useful for checking for values that should be within a particular range. Here, we are also excluding missing date entries. If missing values are not occurring at random, then missing values must be kept and treated as a separate binary variable. To check to see if missing values are truly random, Assign 1 to every missing value and 0 to other values. Then, check and see if this binary variable is related to the outcome. In this snippet, we keep only those visits and related diagnoses that meet both criteria. Note that the elimination is not for the entire record of the patient, but only for the portion of the record that has an out of range or missing value. This is why we need to keep both the ID of the patient and the ID of the visit. Even though it is not shown here, the two IDs that we generate should be merged with the original data so that all relevant fields are available for analysis. Now we will discuss inconsistent data. Some combinations of data are unreasonable and may need to be removed. 
In this snippet, we are keeping only patients which are not pregnant males. Think through your own data and remove all patients who have combinations of fields that should not occur. Sometimes the available data is reasonable but should be disregarded in the context of the analysis that is planned. Even though nothing is wrong with the data, it nevertheless should be ignored. For example, if we are studying the impact of treatment on survival, statisticians require you drop complications from a multivariate model. Here, complications are diagnoses that occur after treatment. Diagnoses before treatment are considered medical history, or at the time of treatment are considered comorbidities, but after treatment they are considered complications. This requires us to drop some of the diagnoses, but retain others. In this example, we have a patient that had an infection and was overweight, so a large dose of antibiotics were given, which distorted the microbes in the patient's gut, and the patient developed diabetes. If we keep diabetes in our multivariate model, then the effects of antibiotics on survival will be distorted. In these situations, we want to keep comorbidities, i.e. being overweight and having an infection, but not the complication, which is diabetes. Be careful, because inside electronic health records, both complications and comorbidities could have the same international classification of disease code. So, we have to examine if the disease occurred after or before the treatment to know if it is a complication, medical history, or comorbidity. Remember, complications always occur afterwards. To account for this, we require a code that drops diagnoses that occur after treatment. In this code, we remove complications of treatment and retain all diagnoses that occur prior to or at the time of treatment. In this code, the WHERE command states that the age of diagnosis should be less than or equal to the age at the start of the treatment. One reason to remove complications from the analysis of impact of treatment on outcome has to do with the fact that at the time of selection of treatment, we do not know the complications. Finally, be careful in eliminating data. What you think is not reasonable may have specific meaning. Even data entry errors can be used to predict future events. If the errors are not occurring at random, create binary variables to indicate where they occur and see what variables are associated with error. Slides have shown snippets of SQL code that can be used to remove data that does not make sense or can lead to errors in your analysis. Thank you for listening.